Hello and welcome. Today, Board Crazy is in London. The year is 1888 and the city is about to be rocked by a series of five grisly murders committed by a mysterious figure dubbed Jack the Ripper. Or is it? You see, the game we're playing today gives some of its players a chance to rewrite history. Do my opponents have what it takes to apprehend the infamous murderer? Let's find out with letters from Whitechapel. Letters from Whitechapel is a game for two to six players designed by Gabriel Mari and Gianluca Santopietro and published by Fantasy Flight Games and Sir Chester Kalbot Board Games. Uh, it's a game of cat and mouse which pits one player playing as Jack Thripper against all the others who are working together playing the role of the policeman who worked the case back in 1888. The game is played over four rounds. In each round, Jack places some tokens on the board indicating the positions of some potential victims, as well as some misleads. The police then do the same with tokens of their own, indicating where they may be patrolling on the board. Next, Jack's actual targets are revealed and are replaced on the board by pawns. At this point, Jack may either choose his victim or wait. If he waits, he's got more time to escape and may also reveal the location of one of the policemen. Uh, however, it also allows the policeman to move these pawns one space. Once Jack has finally chosen his victim, the police tokens are replaced by pawns of their own and the hunt begins. At this point, Jack moves on the numbered spaces on the board, trying to make it back to his hideout, which is one specific location which the Jack player chooses prior to the game. The police try to keep up, moving along, searching for clues in surrounding areas, and even executing arrests if they feel confident that they've found their man. But if Jack can make it back to his hideout, then he successfully evades them for the first night at least, and play proceeds to the next round. If the police are able to successfully execute an arrest, or if Jack is unable to make it back to his hideout before time runs out, then the police have won the game. If Jack is able to make it back to his hideout over each of the four nights, then Jack has won the game. So, let's see if my opponents have better success than their real-life counterparts did, shall we? So. Before we begin, I think we should uh, introduce ourselves. Um, I, D, am playing the role of Jack the Ripper this evening. You, you two are who I'm, again? I'm Jack the Ripper playing the oh. role of D. Well, that's, a, no. that's gonna make things confusing. I will also be home. playing the role of Jack the Ripper. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you won't. I'm Graham. You are Graham. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm Graham, and I'm playing the role uh, and I'm Will! He's right, at least, for a change. All right, well... Sorry, Graham, who are you playing? You should let him know. Um, you don't remember their names? Let's see if I remember their names. George Lusk. Uh-huh. Donald the Ron Swanson. Ooh, mm -hmm. That's not his name. I uh -huh. promise that's not his name. And? And Sir Charles Warren. Ooh. The 13th. Oh. Wow, that's that's a lot of, there's a lot of Charles. There's a lot of Charles Warrens A lot of Charles there. Warrens. Yeah, and... Uh, uh, I am Edmund Reed. Uh-huh. Of the Ripper Street boys, okay. Ed Reed of the Baltimore Ravens, and yeah. uh, and Frederick Aberline. It's Frederick, right? Not Francis. Or is yeah. it Francis Aberline? It's not Francis. Okay, yeah, Francis I'm getting... it's Aberline. It's a terrible name. We're ridiculous. Frederick right Aberline, famous detective, as portrayed in the movie From Hell by Johnny Depp. I was about to say Robbie Coltrane, but no. it was not Robbie Coltrane. It was Johnny Depp. A loose adaptation. Or yeah, being I don't think Averline OD'd on opium. No, I believe he lived into like his 80s. Yes. But, uh, those, so you guys have your cops. Will's gonna be the red and green cop. Graham will be the other three. Um, I'm the Christmas cops. That's what we call each other. Christmas cops. What cops? When Christmas? <laughs> Christmas cops sounds like a show that has never been made but should be. <laughs> Christmas. All right. Christmas uh, cops. If you would like, we could first uh, reveal the leader, the leader of the investigation for the first uh, turn. I so top me. I hope the first it's night. Me. It is Edmund, Edmund Reed. Reed. That's me. So you don't keep it there because I might need to use that part where of the board. Where do we put it? Just discard. Put it to the side or something. I'm gonna right. put it up here. Keep it on top of the pile. All right, there's good. I think each round we should make an official guess at where D's hideout Hi, is. Hideout is. So. All right, watch this. It's gonna be the same number. Okay. Grandma and I gonna get the same number. All right, you count down from three, and then we'll say our number. Okay. One, two, three. Sixty-nine. It was close. You're both correct. Cool. All right, so I now get to place my, I have my, I've collected my special move tokens. I've got my carriages and my alleyways. Now I get to place my woman tokens, as they're called. Your murdered woman, woman tokens. Your wretched 
The, you're no, wretched. Yeah, wretched. you're wretched. The women tokens. The wretched, wretched the, names. Face down on the red numbered circles. Now that I've done that, the skin's in the bottom. The uh, head of investigation, <laughs> you can be placed your patrol tokens down. Sorry? That would be you, Will. Place the patrol tokens Oh, that's tokens right. And I put them on down. the yellow yes. bordered we squares. Should. Yeah, we should. All right, guys. My, right. I have put my special agents out in the field. I okay. call them special agents because, you know, we're the FBI. So mm -hmm. now we're the FBI. We're the FBI. A house ruling a lot of this. Uh, now we flip over my tokens. That's right. Oh, please help me. Wretched. Please help me. We're at the DEA. You, no. Please help me. This is not Dragon Ball. <laughs> all right. So all the ones that are marked with red get replaced. By these get taken off. The wretched pawns. May I see your wretched Oop. pawns? So there's the wretched pawns. Interesting. You know my favorite, sh my favorite sh uh, show on True TV is a wretched pawn wretched stars. Pawn stars, yeah. <laughs> wretched pawn stars. Yeah. A good one. Uh, good all right. So what's next? Next. GM. I. Yeah. Have a decision to make. I may either kill now, <laughs> or I may wait. He's gonna wait. It's a smart move. Well, he could wait, and then he can move the wretches around, right? That's how that works, right? You move the wretches around. No, we, yeah. Cops, we move yeah, them? Yeah, you're responsible for moving the wretches. Oh, we're pimps. I found about that. Yeah. You know? we're, we're cops side hustling as pimps. Pimps. That is a, that's a racket right there. <laughs> what are you going to do, Jack? I will wait. In fact, I'll wait one turn. Fine. Fine. Wait. Which Let's means close I get to reveal one of your tokens. Which I'm one would you reveal? I have, uh, let's maybe do this one. Why would he want to reveal that? Oh, it's, it's, it's Aberline. Man, Aberline. He's just always out in the middle of the street, just shouting his name. But now, smoking <laughs> drugs, running you pimps. You may each run move, pimps, run, you may move each of my uh, pawns one space. That goes to the uh, head inspector. Go ahead, Will. Am right. I allowed to help him out in this part? Well, you can you were, it's a co-op game. You're absolutely allowed oh, to give okay. me input. Consult, consult. Let's see. Now remember, we can't move a wretched next to not directly adjacent. Adjacent, yeah. and we can't move it over one mm -hmm. of the detectives. So we can move them, but we and, and they pawns and ripper move on numbers. We move yeah. on crossroads. So we can move maybe move this wretched a little bit closer to here. Yes, I agree. Four sounds good to me. Four, okay. I'm gonna move this wretched to 84. Okay. Your Gentlemen, move, I think, it's, I think it's time to murder. All right. <laughs> Did it, and he's gonna kill the one between. Yes, I knew it. All so right. So we know that Jack the Ripper right now is on 57. I'll take all the uh, pawns back. Take the pawns. No, not yours. Oh, that's right, we place these after. Right, there you go. Discard one. Well, now we get to reveal and Place our detectives. Place our detectives. Yes, remove, reveal okay. all your other remaining. That's, yeah, that's decent. I like it. We're... So, I need to mark my yeah. progress. I'm on the fourth. Wow. Charles. Give us a lot of over here. Okay. So, now we can put this here. On four and eight. Waiting has given me more time to get back to my hideout. I've got. Not like Wait, mind. have you moved? No. No. Oh, okay. I go first, though. Yes, you do. Why is this brown thing there? Got it. Remember that time we played, we, for, oh, we forgot to put the detective <laughs> yeah. tokens down. We were using these things. Yes, I do. I bet in the first edition of the game, these were the detective tokens. And they're like, no, we need Maybe. actual pawns. I like the pawns. They're cool. They're cool. I'm going to start with a bang. I'm going to use a uh, alley. Smart. I like it. So he's using an alley. Because he has, look at all these different mm -hmm. spots he can go to. So now he's here. To reiterate, an alley allows you to cut through a square. So all these roads create squares. So if you're looking here at 141, for instance, you could cut from 141 to 170, and or 141 to 150. Well, you know, he just allows them to cut through. Cut across a square. Yeah, Easy. me a block. Okay, who's first? Even though technically he could do that anyway. But head inspector is that the chief inspect? What is the correct term? Constable. Constable. <laughs> I don't know. No, I mean constable. It would probably be chief in chief inspector. I'm talking about the rule book. Chief but medical officer. First? I'm first to move, but I'm going to say, actually, first to move is um, Yellow. What's Yellow's name? Tim? No. Tim McJame. Tim George Lusk. 
Oh, it's George? Yeah. Lusk. All right, Georgino. I'm going to move. Let's see. Detective Lusk. I think he most likely went to like 19 or like 70. Okay. That's what okay. He did. So that's I the think working theory. Then I should probably move to 37 and 39 between those two. I can only move once. Can you move twice? Oh, no, move twice. we can move so two right. crossroads. Right, right, right. Two black dots. So here? Squares. And then check. Yeah. So one, two. I will check. Buckle your shoe, bro. Hmm? I can only check 39 from here, though. Yeah, I know, but it's the best bet. We You're, you're going to cut north. Okay. These guys are going to bridge up. I will check. I'm going to execute a clue investigation. <laughs> okay. Interesting wording. Uh, you do not find any clues. At 39. 39. I was all prepared for it. Yeah, you already you grabbed one of the tokens. I knew it was going to be a clue. I knew he was there. All right, well, up I was next. Actually on the wrist. Um, actually, up next is going to be um, Mr. Brown, Quentin Tarantino's That's me character. Again. Who's that again? Who's Brown? Don Swan. Don Swan. One, two. I'm going to search for a clue in 56. No. I will search for a clue in 69. Wait, could he? Could you search 56? Yeah. No, you cannot. You can't. What? Dude, you can't search past crossroads. Only numbers oh. that are directly adjacent. So you can only right, do right, 69 right. or 102. Whoops. Whoops. It's fine. Well, 69. Uh, no. Uh, I still think we should close in with the closest, so blue will be nice. Okay. One, two. I, he can't be there, but I'll still do it. I'm going to search for a clue. Uh, 88. Searching for a clue. You find nothing. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't think I can really get close, but I'm going to move. I mean, he's going to stay on the main street and just head right here. Okay. okay. He... A uh, Aberline is going to move to here. Okay. Cool. And that is the round. Hey, guess what, Jack? My I'm turn to move, move in. Are you yeah. going to do a regular movement? Or are you going to take a carriage? So what are you going to ask me, Will? I'm going to use my second alley. Oh, he's using it. Right. Oh, man. That's so you guys can keep talking. Ah, it's done. We're done talking. Just keep talking so I can uh, write in peace. Advanced tactics. Okay, I've made my move. Who's first? First up... I'm going to be actually saying that Mr. Blue, Sir Charles Warren, Sir as we Charles learned. Sir Charles Warren. Well, here's the thing. If he dipped through another alley, he could be at, like... But we got to find his path right now. That's what we... He's going to get back to his hideout here. we got to get his path down, though. I think he's... I think if he cut through, I think he's at, like, 105, maybe 104, even. That's where I would check. Mm, I think it's... I think we got to figure out which... If he went through this way or what... Yeah, and way. I think Brown can do that. I think that Blue could get... I think... We need to determine if he's cutting past us southward. Hmm. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you think I'm a good detective. <laughs> Fine, I will. He could have. So he used two alleys, right? So he yeah. would have jumped. He could have jumped to like 72, 72 to like 71. 105, maybe. He or he could jump at 71 down to 104. Well, he could be at a lot of spaces right now. This is the tricky part. So. I'm innocent, by the way. Fine. Uh, wrongfully accused. You'll find out at the end, but do it. Investigating. Mm -hmm. 104. No. 105. No. 130. No. All right. Great job, Will. All right. I'm a bad detective. Comments and let me know. Who's next? Brown. Yeah. All right. So, Brown, you moved over to. So. So, searching for clues in 70. Yes. Mm hmm. But that's all. You yeah. found something. Yeah, you found a cannot clue. continue. All right. So, if we know he cut through to 70. He had to cut through this yard. It's the only one he... Or unless he's Wait, cutting back can, upwards. Are you allowed to cut back through the same block? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Sure. Okay. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't even put it past this guy. I think green and blue will continue to press south. I will cut down this direction, cutting him off. You will press downward. I think it's going to be oh, red and so. yellow who have to determine if he cut back. All right. Well, I'm not going to be able to investigate him, but I am going to cut down to this crossroad. And okay. And... Position myself for the maybe an inevitable. Yes, yellow. Let me go. Lusk, Detective Lusk. All right, I'm searching for clues at 56. Nope. 57. You find a dead body. <laughs> you found a dead body, guys. Yes. We didn't even know we were investigating a murder. <laughs> we thought it was like sh like. We thought we, we thought we were chasing the ice cream truck. Yes, <laughs> ice cream. He's gonna actually move right here. Okay. And that's. 
That's it. That's it. Ripper, your move. You damn psychopath. Look at him. I know. Look at that face. He's killing everyone. <sighs> he just starts throwing down red markers it's everywhere. Uh... All right, guy. So I go to 17, and then 5, and then 3. Nice. Okay, he knows Pat. Mm -hmm. He said 155, 41, and then 4. Yeah. What did I... he do? He was here. There. He's going to use the coach. coach. I knew it. So the coach allows him to cover two spots in one go. Yep. Mm -hmm. He has now moved a total of four spots. I've made my move. He can't move past me. So he's either cutting up this way, or he's coming this way. Carriage has let me move twice. I don't know if you guys mentioned that, but... Mm -hmm. Carriages move twice. So he's... They can also move through cups. <sighs> well, either way, he couldn't get through me, because he would have to go... He'd be right here. You're assuming I was there. Yeah, that's... You're assuming that someone... We I check. know that he's there. I didn't read his... Unstable. I think if we established that. No. I'm going to investigate for clues at 143. Yes. Whoa. Edmund Reed is good. He's so good. So. He's at 126. Or he's at 125, and he was right next to me, and he's playing games. So. He walked right past me on the road. I think. In fact, I, I waved you by. I was like, Please. You, were, you came out of your carriage. It's like, Edmund! Covered in blood and viscera. <laughs> Covered. Edmund Reed was like, have you seen any dead bodies? And you're like, no. It's blood coming out of his mouth. He's like, bit a chunk off. All right. Um, Graham, this is not good. I think I should come down to... 144. One, I should go one, two... Yeah, find out. And then you. search these three. Yeah. But start with 144. Okay. So, and I'm going to search at 145 first because yeah. he can, okay. Yeah. You find nothing. Okay, so nothing at 145. 144. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Edmund was right. He still got away, though. But yeah, I was right. Okay. Woo, we're on him. Mm -hmm. We're on him. All right, Red is going to go next. I think he's, I think. We're on him like cauliflower on rice. <laughs> <laughs> cauliflower is rice now, apparently. I think he's at 125 or 126. So I'm going to continue my pursuit. I'm going to go right here. R all right, yellow and brown. I don't care which order you go. Is that going to search? No. <laughs> so which, what's detective? What do I do? Do I go to? I liked this one. This it can, one. It can get, those get rid of these okay. three, num those two or three numbers. Mm-hmm. Right there. Wow, he's surrounded. Okay, so I should check 103. Check 103. For I'm not going to execute an arrest. 103. For clues? Yes. No. Then 127 detective? Yeah. 127. I'm searching for clues. I'm finding them everywhere. No. They weren't the clues that we were looking for. All right. These nine. aren't the clues you're looking for. 128. No. Okay. Okay. So he didn't go this way at all. Is yellow going to move? Well. Yellow, yellow yeah, yellow, move. Now, do we want to start setting up yellow and red to cover some of the... Further murder investigations? Yes. I agree. Okay. He because already remember, killed can... He already killed the one over there. He, he can't the kill over here, there again. He can kill here. Yeah. He can kill here. Well, I, mean, I kind of like where yellow is on the main street. Technically, I killed here, but I guess I still can. Um, question, I killed how yeah, many of the, do the yeah, detectives no. always stay in the same spots? Five, five of them stay in the same spot. Five, sorry, five of the tokens must be placed where the but we can detectives are. Right. We can change But we can change up where the other two are. must right. be placed on yellow bordered things. Well, I think where the yellow one is right now is actually pretty good. If anything, he can just move more centrally on that main street. I'm going to keep moving red this direction Are you anyway. done with yellow okay. or not? We're done. Completely. I'm going to move then. Okay. Use another carriage. Okay. Two more spots. He's being reckless. He's using... Talk amongst yourselves. Well, he's being smart. He's using his yeah, special Yeah, because this is the part. round where he has all. My gut feeling Man is that on the run. he was a ballsy balls. And because he was in a carriage, he could get up right next to me. So I have a feeling he was at one of these two points, and now he's progressing this way. Or he realized we're onto him, and he's going to go south. Either way, I think he's made it to this section of the map where the least of us are. That's what I would do if I was the killer. In some big spots. So if he's at 125, he could be very far away from us right yes, now. Yes, he, he could. He could be, he could he be at like 152. He could be like 118 by now. Yep. But I think what we need to do is determine the path. So I think green is going to head west. West, northwest, southwest. That's the routes I think they, those southwest. pieces need to take. The, this guy is going to continue southwest. All right, so lead me. Where, who's going first? Yeah. You're, the, you're right. in charge, Bill. Up uh, first, I'm going to say uh, blue. 
Warren, you're gonna Sergeant Warren. Okay. Warren. Damn it. So you think he would do something ballsy, like double back, and he's like close, to, like really close to you? Oh God! Why do we ever put you two in the same team? One that requires a lot of thinking. This is gonna. This is we. We're like two minutes into deliberation. Take all night with you. In two. a game that's about deliberation. Yes. Boom. Oh, I'm coming up here. I think for the sake of investigation, it's more beneficial if you end up at this black square than this one. But okay. That's just my. So opinion. you want me to check? Fifty nine and seventy two. Fifty nine and seventy two. Yeah. Yes, sir. Because then you could keep heading this direction. I don't um, think he would head that two. way. Mm -hmm. I will check. Mm -hmm. Which one should I check first? Uh, do fifty nine. One fifty nine. No. One seventy two. No. Okay. See, we're narrowing. So options. he didn't come down here and go this way. He didn't he come down have, here and go east. And he didn't. He didn't. He didn't hop down here. No. See, that's good. Now we know he didn't. He didn't yeah, at least initially head east right away. I could have figured that out from this spot too. I don't know. I think it's just better this way. Also, my instincts have been right on from the get-go. So green's gonna go next, damn it. Uh -huh. Okay. So he would have had to go up to 127 at least, so. Oh no, because we checked 120. So he would have to be, you're right, he would have to be at either, if he went this way, he'd have to be at 102, 101, or 126. Yeah. So I can get to here and check these two. Yeah, that's why I think I'm gonna, okay. so Edmund Reed is going to cut to here at this crossroad. Mm -hmm. He is going to check uh, 123. For clues? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, there we go, Graham. I think he cut past us. I think he's... If he did that, if he cut past, and he was actually at 125 to start last round, which I think is a solid bet. Yes. That means that he could... He's probably over here somewhere. Well, I mean... Hmm. Brown could try to position himself and head back towards the main roads. Hmm. I think we're behind the Ripper. I think he's escaped our grasp right yeah, now. Now he could be at a lot of different spots. And I think he has enough carriage. He has one more carriage. I think he'll be able he to get could, He could be all the way over at 98, which is... He could be. Insane to think mm -hmm. about. Um, honestly, I don't think Brown can really do that much from his position, so I would just move him into what you think is a favorable position for next round. Oops. Nope, he's dead. Dead. Donald Swanson has died. Maybe we should move Brown... Just right there. That's a good crossroads. I mean, I was gonna say up here. Just start that works too. It's another crossroads. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, um. Sure. Fine. We'll whatever. We will search at one twenty nine. No. One forty five. No. Okay. Red is going to. So let's say he's as far as ninety eight. Could you get to, to ninety eight here? That's when he's gonna continue westward. Okay. He's gotten reports on the radio of a suspicious looking carriage. I think that's it. We're not moving yellow. We're keeping him. Yeah. We're keeping yellow staying on that like main street. Yellow would be George Lusk. We're keeping uh -huh. George. That's me. Lusk. I'm staying, I'm staying put. It looks like his Lusk is all but run out. That was terrible. It was the worst I've heard. It wasn't great. Yeah, I hate you. I hate you. Hey, Ripper. Yeah. Why don't you move again? Can he kill us? He just like walks by. Lusk cuts his throat. He's like, and George Lusk is dead. Lusk is dead. That's when, that's when the line looks like his lusk is all but run out. <laughs> that's when that line works. Okay, I'm going to use my last carriage. Yes, he is. Wow. Fudge. Are you is back at your base yet? A magic carriage? It's a magic carriage. Magic was carriage. Was it ever a pumpkin? You know English muffins aren't actually English? This, I think the English muffins is, are created by France. Americans. Huh? This is France. Oh. All right. Jeez. I have made my move. White, white Chappelle. Jacques the Ripper. <laughs> Jacques the Ripper. Right? Ripper. 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 <laughs> Edmund. He, Edmund Reed has decided that he wants blue, brown, or yellow to decide what they're going to do this turn. Because okay. they're not in favorable positions. So. so I'm just, I don't know. There's aren't that, there are so many dots. You're just gonna have to choose which way you so want. So he could have come here and been to one four, uh, gone to 141 40 or 141. Let's see, assume he went to 141, and then on his second double back here, he went to 150. He could be at 182, 181, 170. So any of those? I guess so just, any of those. Right? The, yes. One two. Okay. So there he. But goes. I think Brown should also move that direction. Okay. So and then that way, blue can investigate southward, and two, Brown okay. moves. Westward. Reinvestigating. Um, oh, I, I can find I'll, I'll investigate first. Um, even though it doesn't matter. 156. Yes. What's what? The t 
It's Brown's turn. If he wants to do what he was doing. Okay. So what if he did this? 144. Mm -hmm. Then he went 143, 156. Mm -hmm. And then you were right next to him last turn. He went 125 to 123. Yeah, 123 was where he was out at, and I investigated. That easily could have been what just happened. I think there. that is what happened here. So yeah, you should move right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm doing it. Right. Now let's. I'm going to be working under the assumption that he went to 156 first. Okay. And then ended up at 123, and then took another carriage. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be working under the assumption. Of. That's the assumption you're working, and we're we're working that he went 143, 125, and then went 123. Is green going now? Yeah, right. green's going to go. God, right. he's impatient. We're well, we're like know, legitimately discussing options. My downtime is go. humongous right now. <laughs> I know. My downtime is. is like 15 minutes. That is true. His downtime's <laughs> terrible. So I moved my two guys. I really should just move yellow. Same with the red. That's up to See, this is how I like to get my my easy work done first. I would move yellow and red first, and then do all. The yeah, then do the thinking. All right. Okay. But we're doing it opposite. It's the same amount of time spent. So you're gonna search. I'm these just gonna one be searching place? 121. You find nothing. Okay. Now red is gonna go here. Mm -hmm. He's gonna search one nine. I'm sorry. He's gonna search 98. No. All right. Okay. Yellow. Should I move yellow at all? Yeah. So let's move yellow to right here. Sure. Okay. I'm going to investigate. 73. 73. No. 58. No. Okay. I didn't think so, but you can never be too sure. Now he can only, he doesn't have any specialty items nope. left. Nope, he has to go one at a time. I take my move, I'm up to six now. Yep, and I bet you he's going back to his hideout. I am going back to my hideout. Knew it. So you've made one more move and you're back at your hideout? Yep. And thus ends the first night I have successfully escaped. It's time for the second <sighs> night. No thinking about anything that's gone on the board right now. <laughs> Do we find out who the new chief inspector is? Yeah, go ahead. It is Aberlene. Oh, darn it. Freddie Hay. That, that's my last. Don't let us down, Aberline. So you will have the last round if we, I, we do not succeed. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> and it will, uh, I, I've got a feeling it'll be Swanson. Yeah. It's now, I'm going to wait. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to reveal the far one. Well, hold on. We got to put, uh, put the wretched out. Hmm? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Put them out. Yes. Here. So I would like to reveal the far one from me. Okay. okay. Just making, Brown. Just making sure. Don Swan. You get to move. Yeah, would you like to move the pawns? I. Yep. I'm going to murder. Yes, oh. I saw that coming. So we're going to put these. Where will the murders be? We're going to put one over there. That's a decoy. And we're going to put the other one up here. Now, which one is first is my decision, and which one is second. So, here, if I can have those back. You want to explain this part? This part you might not have gone over in detail, but explain how the third round works. It's a double murder in the third round, which means yes. I kill two. I have to choose one to be my first murder, the other one is my second murder, and then that's where I start from, and then they get to go first. The second murder is where you walk off from. Mm -hmm. Got it. And actually, I think I get moved up now, a space on my movement. Now, when do we put the detectives down? Right. I do have to move up, I think, on my movement. I, I think it does it, count as a yes. movement. Yep, the second murder does count as uh, D's first movement. Yes, that's right. So which one? What numbers do we have out there? Three and what's that one over there? One sixty-three. You're at two and one sixty-three. Two and one sixty-three. Not three. Okay, I'm going to say my first murder. You don't have to say your first one, right? You don't tell us where the first one is. Exactly. That would have been a very that bad, would have been horrible. Oh my goodness. Well, that never happened. Uh -huh. Thank God. <laughs> Ripper's, well, Ripper called us. us on the phone. We're like, hello? He's like, I think my first murder is going to be at... And then it just hung <laughs> up. He hangs up. He's like, wait. I mean, <laughs> mistake. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to kill here, but then I'm going to kill somewhere else. else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I have decided. I'm not going to say anything, except I don't know how I feel about Will's... The, uh, my name's Will, not Wheel. And secondly, Wheels. I think I did a hell of a job. I don't know if you can see what my strategy was, but it was basically to create a line across the middle of the map so that if he has to get home, and I'm pretty sure the home is in the southern hemisphere, 
it's gonna be difficult. Mm, but we're so far away from the murders that if we can, it's it could fine. Be it's about it's about cordoning off his house so he can't even get there. Mm. Hmm. It's time for the final murder. <laughs> you may catch me, but I have murdered five women. I'm so, not, it's a win for me. I'm disappointed with you, Frederick. I failed. All right, get Don Swan. That. I get one of each. I think we're close to his home. We may have not gotten it exactly right, but I think even if we lose, that'll be a consolation prize, is that our deductive skills were pretty good. Remember in real life, <laughs> pretty good. Remember in real life though that Averline in the detective. Five women are dead, but we did pretty good. <laughs> That's those, they guys, both themselves. those guys are legendary detectives. We did what we could. Legendary because they, they are. failed. Yeah, exactly. They so it's just mimicking murder. history. It's it's it is art artistic. The detectives are placed. It's artistic, Graham, that we're losing. All right, we flip. We can flip my tokens. Like, oh wow, it's not a real murder. No. Surprise. Oh, not a real one, Graham. Not a real one. Take those. Yep. So now do I wait? Mm hmm Or do I not? I, yeah, we could be wrong about his time. Remember, our original theories, my original theory was, what was it? It was 115 and 151. Okay. Uh, so just, over here. But now we're thinking... Anyway, what are you doing? I'm not waiting. Okay. I'm going to murder. Okay. So that's I one... I think it's 125. What number is that? 158? 125, 126, 124, 158. What's he doing? Or, well, you guys have to show us the oh, tax. Yeah. Uh, it's at least good that uh, Aberline, the most useful one of our detectives, found his way back. Yeah, that. somehow after that whorehouse visit. It'd be so funny if he's like, I play carriage, I'm home. <laughs> we can't, can't do that. You can't, can't do, do that. Into oh, I think that I think that frustration indicated he just needs to. I'm gonna play stuff. carriage though. And now you one more turn. I guarantee you he is home next turn. You you would think he would go like You're up, down here to 182 or something. No, because if he's smart, he's gonna try to get home as quickly as possible. But that's what we would expect. No. What we're gonna do is we are gonna find out from here what we think the likely hideout places are. And then we're gonna head, we're gonna move our guys around there and just start executing arrests every single turn. All right, so to start, like right now we're gonna execute arrests? You go ahead. He, we, I really think we just need to. He's not gonna take a beat, he's not gonna take. A smart thing would be to try to get home as quickly as possible. But if we're all if surrounding his home, he'll wanna move us around. I bet what you're gonna see next turn is an alley token. And then the turn after that, he's going home. Aberline, go first. Oh boy. Aberline's gonna wind up up here somehow. Yeah, I know. Like, what are we <laughs> we doing? Maybe just in case he may, we took a, a, the odd route. And Well, since these guys are all gonna shift this way, I think Aberline should probably shift that way, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna execute an arrest okay. at 128. You do not arrest the correct man. You arrest the wrong person, and then Come the here. game ends. You just moved away from the. I told you not to do that. Your commanding officer told you not to do that. Frederick Agbon's commanding officer. He's the chief inspector. He right, does what done. he wants. He's off the case. <laughs> Actually, no, Swanson's chief inspector. The worst detective. Graham, fortunately, you still have four more. Oh my gosh. Man, Swanson's chief inspector. At your disposal. Technically, you're oh, the chief Oh man. He, Char I think Charles Warren can hang out right here. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna come right here. Executing arrest at 125. Nope. What else are we gonna do? So, yeah, I would move there. And then he could be at 126. He could be at 126. Should I follow my heart? No, because your heart is always executing an arrest. <laughs> your heart's always wrong. Your heart is wrong, Will. I'm gonna execute an arrest. No, I would search for clues. I'm gonna execute an arrest. Go ahead. At 101. No. Damn it. So who's left? Brown and yellow? <laughs> he could be at one. I like the 183 theory, then he would alley through it. But that, I mean, you couldn't get to him, so. I couldn't get to him. We have so many guys up here that. Yeah, move him maybe down to that corner, you think? One, two. That okay, good to me. Then, oh, yeah, that's blue. I'm sorry. Yep. And then him, I can move either, I can move maybe. Whoa! He, he just. <laughs> I'm well, rolling, guys. If you're, right, is on if a you're roll. right, we're going to need to be investigating a ton of arrests in, or executing a ton of arrests in bulk. So maybe it's smart to actually just move them closer to where we think right. he's going to end yep. up. And then just start hitting spots because we're sure that he's going to be like one away. Are you done? Yep. I've moved. Just one spot? Just one spot. Yep. So do you, do you want Brown to just come over here and see if he went to 183? I can check these three for clues. 
So I could, do you think I should execute and rest at 182 or um, do you think I should come down here and just search for clues right around here? That seems like the best bet. Okay. Because if we get him there. I'm going to search for clues at 182. No. 192. Nope. And 183. Yes. Do you want my opinion, Graham? He's going to move to spots where we can't move to. It's going to be tough for us to investigate. That's where he's going to move. Yeah, like 156. Why do yeah. I... I mean, 156, we could not get to him this turn. He thinks maybe he goes to 183. We, we consider him moving two spots. He spreads us out, moves back to 156, alley token to like 155, yeah. and then pops to his final spot, like 141 or 125. Yeah. Yes, but if he uses an alley, he can't use it into his base. Remember, it's that. true. That's why I think he would pop it and then go and one then more go spot. One more, so he wouldn't risk going straight to one twenty. Well, it depends. It depends on what we do here. I guarantee it depends on what we do here. So, so let's force. Probably him does. You're probably right about. Let's that. force him in a position where neither is attractive. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. So, I think blue should come mm -hmm. down here. Yes. Okay. Prevent him from hopping. Charles across. Warren, you're going there. Okay. Would you like to investigate it? Execute and arrest. Do it. Um, do it. It's impossible to do it. Investigating at mm -hmm. 141. No. 155. No. Well, here's the thing. Sorry. If he was planning on getting to... If 125 is his last resting place, he knows now he's going to be blocked if he wants to take the alley. And he would have to just go straight there from 156. So you think we should... Try to get into, we should try to get in between 156 and 125. So that that, that could be Green's green. job. So Green. Yeah. We're, Edmund Reed will move there. Reed can, he can't. No. Okay. So he's going to move I there. will also, just for the sake of uh, security, investigate 126 and 125. Well, which one first? 26. No. 25. No. All right. Do you think we should make a wall and I just head here and just create like a oh, wall? I was going to say you could go right here and then he... Can't go through. He can't get through here to over to these mm -hmm. two. I know. That's what I was thinking. Just we're creating a wall. So you think one, two, move him right there. Yep. <laughs> Every <Okay>. corner. <laughs> hey, Abelon. <laughs> and then if he gets so, down each other. let's assume he gets to one from one fifty six. Let's assume he uses the alley token to one twenty five or one fifty five. Mm -hmm. We should have him ready to. You think? All right. Yes. To one, two. He should come right here, right? The cluster. The cluster. <laughs> it's clustered so much. We are totally banking but that he, his hideout is right here's here. Here's the thing, though. He's not going to go that way now if we do yeah. that. He's almost absolutely going to be like, all right, I'm bouncing back and I'm going to find a new route. He yeah, has he, to. He, he has to. Do it. Leave him. We're leaving him. Yep. He's nervous as. Ever. He's really nervous. Mm. He knows that we're close. We're within striking distance. <laughs> Woo! He's marked it. He made a move. Did you make a move? Mm-hmm. How many? So, just, just one? Just one. Look, if you pop over... Okay, I have an idea. Great. Yeah. Okay, I have an idea. It's been a while. Shut Brown up. comes up here <laughs> and executes an arrest at 171. If that doesn't work, blue comes down here back into Brown's position... And executes an arrest at 83. Mm -hmm. That might work. And then green goes here and does 142. Red goes here and does 143. Both possibilities as well. All possibilities. Could you please just do one thing? Just one thing. He wants us to capture him, man. Just do a thing. thing. Let's do what you just you said. said. You like that? Yeah. Okay. Hit it. Come there. We're executing arrest at 171. No. Okay. Should I do it? Yes. Right here? Mm-hmm. It's risky, but yes. It's risky. Executing arrest at 183. No. All right, well, now we know, we because we move blue and, and brown like that, we need to move yellow closer. Yep, we do. So maybe we should move yellow over here? Yeah. Or do you think it would be better just to leave him here? Leave him here? He can still get here if he needs to. Okay. Right yeah, because yeah. Yeah, he has to go through... He can't okay. get to 125 without going through that intersection. And, yeah, yeah. You know what, Graham? Here's what you do. You pop here, you investigate these two. Because if we find out... If we find out he's at, he was at 156, that's really important to us. And don't forget that yep. Red can come down and maybe execute an arrest at 142 or 143. 
So you think I come down here and investigate these two? Yes. Okay. Yeah, which one first? I think it's more important to investigate 142 first because if he's at 142, then I yeah. can almost guarantee he was at 156. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we're going to investigate a clue at 142. No. Okay. We're going to investigate a clue at 156. Yes. He's at 157. That son of a gun. My instinct... My instinct is to go here in case he wants to head further this direction. Can you still... I wouldn't be able to get him at 159, and he knows that. I'm executing arrest at 143. You do not find him. Arrest Jack. All right. Those were our moves. I've made my move. Okay. And he hasn't used an alley, so... Okay. So 171, 172, 159, 158. We're going to execute arrest on those four spots. We can get him. One seven, okay, so do you think we should still find out if he went to one, be sure he went to 157? Well, can we get to the, all the other spots? Then I think we could. I think if we, if we know 157 was, was occupied at one point by him, it, we, we've got him. I think okay. we've got him. So sh I should do it then, is what you're saying? Yes. So, invest, looking, searching, I like that word better, mm -hmm. for clues at 157. Yes. Okay. Okay. We've got him. We can Oops. we can track his movements now. I didn't like he that went, clue, so I took it off. Ticket, Graham. He went. Five, so his first move was five seven. His second move was eight three. His third move was five six. His fourth move was back to five seven. He's at seventy one, seventy two, fifty nine, or fifty eight. Okay. So I think I'm gonna let who's I'm gonna in let charge. Red, oh, I'm gonna let Red Swanson. Red Ede go. Ed Reed. Ed okay. Reed. Ed Reed is up. All right, that's Aberline. Reed is green. Oh, Reed is green. Aberline, go. Okay. Uh, I, I just said Aberline could go. Just do a thing. I'm confused. Who's going? Aberline. Who cares? Aberline, go. Oh, you, had your move. you had your move. Go. Yeah. Now, 159 or 172, Graham. Are you doing an arrest or investigate? We're well, going to go balls. Okay. I only arrest from here on to the end of the game. Okay. So, this is a gut call. All right, I am executing an arrest at 159. No. All right. Okay. So where else could he have gone from there? You think Green should move here and do 158? It's 18. What is it? 158. Yeah. The murder scene. And then Yellow can move here and block that end of, end of the street, forcing him into basically a very bad situation. Okay. Executing arrest at 158. Nope. Man. So, All right, so Yellow has to move and block that street. If he was trying to work us around to try to use that alley token to get out, that might have been the perfect play. But Graham, blue can still hit 185 or 171. Get him. He's here, Graham. I got a feeling. Will's got a feeling. I will. Sir Charles Warren is executing an arrest at 185. No. <laughs> He's disappointed. He's like, I want to get caught. He was at 156. He moved back, didn't he? Bold and beautiful. Oh, my God. Oh, this game will never end. If we aren't close to you, you're making this way harder than it has to be. <laughs> no, we're, we're close. He's like over here. <laughs> I can't get home. <laughs> He's I lost. lost my way. Okay, I'm going to use the alley. Yep. Damn. But where am I going is the question. Okay. Oh, wait. wait, what the hell what the were you doing there? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm moving him back. He didn't <laughs> take his hand. All right, I've moved. He's at 155. There's no way we can get to him. Question, that's not, that is completely true. <laughs> However, is 155 one away from his hideout? I don't think it is. I think it's one of these screwballs, unless it's 141. Either way, you gotta move yellow here, right? Yep. Yeah. Try 125. Um, executing? What other, what other, what else can he do? He knows that, so he's at 155. Yeah, I know. He got us. He got us to move where he wanted, and we were too tepid to try 156, and he, he, that's how he got us. You guys. Um, what are you executing doing? Executing arrest at 125. I am not there. Yes. He knew we would try that. So we got to get guys back now. It's not, we're going to, we're going to run into each other. I am careful. going to, he could be at 182 as well. So... I will. I could execute an arrest at 182. No. All right. So I think he would go there. 
I would execute an arrest at 142. No. Okay. Okay. I just don't and think a clue there is all that helpful to us. Red right is going to come down here. What? You can't move my guy. And he is going to... We're going to see if he was at 171 because we never actually checked there. All right. I'll investigate 171. Oh, for clues. clues. Yeah. Uh, no. So and 185 as well. No. Okay. So he did go to 156. Mm -hmm. He went back there and it was the one spot of the ones that we could investigate, basically, that we didn't investigate. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. All right. Go the ahead, one D. D. Go ahead. Get the, I'm having one. Get the 141 and win your game. If you were to move blue here and find out, like, well, I don't want to talk too much before he's chosen yeah. the spot. I moved. <laughs> okay. He knows what we would think anyway. Yeah, like he's, he's going to go to, once again, a spot that we can't. So from here, what are the spots he can get to again? He can go <laughs> from there. He from can't get the 125. He can get the 141, 170, 181, and we can 182. We can literally reach all those spots. No, you literally can't. No, we couldn't. You we can reach like two of them. You haven't moved to a spot that's impossible for one of our guys to get to. Assuming oh, you're oh, I see. It's Assuming I was there. The I first play, in my opinion, is to move blue here, investigate 170 or 181. If he's at either of those spots, especially 170, yellow could rest him yeah, on this okay. turn. Okay. It has to be the move. So, Charles Warren? Or wait. Or do you want to investigate 150? Well, no. <gasps> just do it. Just do it. Just do it. First guy, please. Is we are going to search for clues mm -hmm. at 170. No. And we're going to search for clues at 181. No. So he's at 141? Is it right? Okay, so red is going to go one, two. Okay. So he. So should we execute at 141? Well, he, red obviously can't. Oh, red, oh I mean, red, you can yeah, execute. Yeah, red at is going to execute at 182. Yes. Woo! We got him. <laughs> All right. Oh, man. <laughs> it took forever. I've been saying goodbye. No, put your mic back on. Okay. I should have been five women. I win the game. Now that the game is over, Game Master, mm. can you tell us what point was your hideout? Uh, 125. It, it was 125. 125. Yeah, so basically this move, I was I, I was about to win the game if you don't move him here. Yeah, that yeah. I was, it, I was there, and mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I can get there, but then... Yellow. Yeah, yeah we were, I mean, we we knew one twenty five was one of like the three options. Played Aberline. We were trying. We were trying to block you off at the. That I is. Will was seemed so convinced it was like one forty one or one forty. I figured you'd stick over here, but I don't know, kept moving over. Well, we switched at the last moment. Ah, I went on the last turn. I went from one fifty eight. One fifty eight. Yeah. To one fifty seven. Yes. To one eighty three. Yep. Like with the carriage. To yes. one fifty six. Yep. Well, we had that all right. To one fifty seven. <laughs> yeah. To one fifty seven. Back to one fifty six. Oh. Okay. Then over to one fifty five. And then we had down every move basically on right. You, by did, the way, you, you had that down pretty well. By the way, I just want to laugh and point out that opium addict Averline yes. made the arrest of Jack the he River. Did. In the end, it was honestly it was the first Averline. It was the first turn that really I think. Sweat, sweat, oh. uh, yeah, yeah, we got five. You got really lucky. You got so that. much in the first turn. Yeah. I think the second and third were, were you guys were so far off that it, yeah. yeah, but like, oh my god, the third turn, like the route I took, you guys weren't even close. Like, that's why being you like lined up along the street because you thought you were gonna block them off, but I knew I was like, there's no way we find any clues this <laughs> well, way. Well, what's hilarious is we made that line that was about from here to here. He just went around the line. <laughs> <laughs> it's like God. <laughs> No! Aberline was definitely high during that turn. But he did get the arrest. He just stumbled anyway, into him in the end. Anyway. He can have the crown. What? But Aberline made the arrest. You know what? You were the lead investigator. I was. Wait, lead they can probably see this on the, uh, Don Swanson. We'll see this on the I will win this game someday. Aberline's, Aberline's got the crown. And you will right. fear me. <laughs> You're right, it's mine. Mine. And yours a little bit. All right, all right, gentlemen. Woo! That's our video. All right. If you like this video, and mm -hmm. I don't know why you would, but if you happen to, uh, please give it a thumbs up, a comment, uh, subscribe to our channel if this is more the nonsense that you want to watch in the future. Oh, yes, please. Visit our website, boardcrazygames.com, for uh, our reviews of this game. Um, Among other things, we have yeah. other content on there. Check it out. Yeah, we do. What um, are we um, playing next week? Next week, uh, we're playing, I believe, Covert. That was that decided. Kane Clanko's covert back there. We're gonna be sexy, sexy spies. Oh. Sticking in England. Sticking in London, I guess. Actually, I'm stuck to my mic.
Oh boy. So same city, different era. Um, yeah. Same same city? It's part of our London <laughs> series. That's London, isn't it? Oh, that is London, but it takes place all over Europe. Yeah. So Jack the Ripper in the 1960s, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. So but check out our news videos, and our social media links are in the description below, as long mm -hmm. as uh, a link to the review. I've started adding those to the uh, descriptions. So... We are the best detectives ever. I mean, that was you didn't prevent any murders. Yeah, he, they, everybody was murdered. <laughs> the family, <laughs> bad detectives. The family has their justice. But we stopped him from murdering anybody else after those five. Although, I mean, in real life, he did stop murdering after those five. So I mean, you didn't. didn't change I, did he, them. or did he just leave? There are a lot of people who theorize that he moved from London. Anyway, so. until next week, I am Jack the Ripper. I am. Chief Master Inspector Don Swanson. Mm -hmm. And I am Johnny Depp. Toodaloo, everyone. <laughs>